Welcome to Robinson Foundry. My name is Seth Robinson, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I turned 3D sculpted trilobites into bronze castings. And make sure to watch until the end of this video to see how you could win one of five bronze trilobites. Trilobites are certainly one of the most recognizable and well-known fossils around, so I thought it would be fun to cast some in bronze. I started this project by using a program called Blender to sculpt a simple artistic model of a trilobite. Then I used my resin 3D printer to print out the models, which took about six hours. These printers use UV light to gradually cure thin layers of photosensitive resin. When the models were done printing, I removed them from the build plate, carefully. Then I washed off the excess resin in some isopropyl alcohol, and then soaked them in hot water to soften up the support material. Once the resin was warm, the supports came off easily. A few minutes in direct sunlight to completely cure the resin and the models were ready to be used to make sand molds. The first step in making a mold was to coat the models in baby powder to prevent them from sticking to the oil bonded sand called petrobond. I covered the models with sand and then tightly packed it down. Then I flipped the mold box over and dug around the edges of the models to make sure that they could be removed from the mold without breaking sand away. Then I filled the other half of the mold box with sand and packed it down. To remove the models, I simply flipped the mold upside down and let them fall out. Next, I drilled a hole to pour the metal into, called a sprue, and channels for the metal to flow through, called runners. I also added some vents to allow smoke and gases to escape through as the mold is being filled. Thank you. 
After I was done making the molds, it was time to melt some bronze. For these castings, I used some scrap bronze from previous projects. I figured I needed about 6 pounds or 2.5 kilograms to comfortably fill the molds. It's always better to have too much metal than not enough. Bronze has a melting point of about 1700 degrees Fahrenheit or 950 degrees Celsius. It took about 20 minutes in my homemade furnace to melt the bronze. I let the bronze heat up to 2100 degrees Fahrenheit or 1150 degrees Celsius and then poured it into the molds. After the molds cooled down for a while, I opened them up to see how the trilobites turned out. These castings turned out great, and the detail is amazing. There are some issues that could be addressed for future castings, but all in all, they look really nice. I also cast a few of these trilobites in pewter using an open mold, just to demonstrate that it actually works pretty well using this model. If you would like to download the model to print on your own, you can find a link to the free file in the description. I went to work grinding off the sprue and runners and then filed down the excess metal.
Fortunately, these castings didn't require very much finish work. The final step was to give these castings some life by shining them up with a wire brush, and they were done. I think these bronze trilobites turned out really nice looking, and I had a lot of fun making them. You can even see some faint layer lines from the 3D printed model, and those layers are only two thousandths of an inch thick, which is 50 microns. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Tell me what you think in the comments, and subscribe for future projects. Now onto the giveaway. I will be giving five of these bronze trilobites away to five different people. Here's how you can enter to win. Subscribe to Robinson Foundry on YouTube and leave a comment containing more than one word on this video. That's it. Here are the official rules. It is free to enter to win. The contest opens at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on April 10th, 2021. The contest closes at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on April 24th, 2021. You must provide an address within the United States to receive your prize. Participants must have a valid Gmail account to comment on the video for contest entry. The winner will be chosen randomly with a YouTube comment picker at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on April 24, 2021, and the winner will be announced on YouTube the same day. If the winner has not followed the rules of the contest, they will be disqualified. The winner must contact me to claim their prize through email. My email address can be found in the About section on my YouTube channel. I will validate that you are the account holder with a keyword that must be edited into the winning comment. If the winner does not respond within one week, they will be disqualified and a new winner will be chosen. Any information collected will be used for the sole purpose of delivering the prize to the winner. Participants must follow YouTube's community guidelines at all times or they will be disqualified. This contest is not sponsored by YouTube. I am solely responsible for the contest and delivering the prize to the winner. Thank you for watching and good luck!